Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you, and welcome to another episode of Strat Talk, the series where we talk about strategies for the game Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This time, we're going to be looking at Penta vs. LGB. We'll look at one round here from a professional match in a little bit more depth than we would look at it normally. All right, so the first thing we have to take note of here in this round, it's the pistol round of the second half. Both teams are pretty much even in the scoreboard. Very important match going on for these guys from Katowice. So one of the things we really have to look at here is they're buying. Penta has three players buying up nades. Now, on the first round, a lot of times, a lot of players will get armor. We only see two players with armor here, Dennis and Nex. So that really means that they are planning something. They have some kind of interesting pistol round planned here against LGB. So let's see how it works out for them and how they use those three smokes. So the first smoke is going to be used here by Speedy. We'll see where it's thrown. And it lands right here at long at the cross. So this tells us that they're trying to make LGB think that they're pushing out long, that they're moving over here behind the blue thing or trying to take position here. However, one of the themes we've seen here in this match in particular was that both teams sort of ignored long A and didn't even worry about it. So that trick didn't work at all on LGB, but it's important to note going forward. So the next thing we'll see are some really interesting smokes here from Penta and a cool strategy that, that is sort of like a split A with a mid to A, and you'll see how they accomplish this. So we see LGB here at middle with two players, watching it from both sides, a great surround, and they'll also get some good intel here. Jacob will be able to watch up, see if players go to Xbox or up on short, and just sort of figure out what Penta is doing so they can rotate their players. All right, and the smokes are about to be launched here from the players. We actually have a bomb throw from Crystal up top. Crystal is going to be the player going mid to A here. Smokes are about to be thrown. We see Trubbly and Crystal. Crystal smoke is the really important one as it lands right here. So let's keep an eye now. Let's fly over there and check out these smokes. So we have one on the left side, one on the right side, where both of those players were standing. Both of them had a really good surround, uh, a good crossfire on T's trying to come through middle. At the same time that they throw these smokes, they move their players here at short A. So we have Nex, Speedy, and Dennis moving short. CTs have thrown a smoke up there. I believe that was a missed throw. It was supposed to land right here where Dennis is so that the T's had to push through the smoke, but it sort of missed a little bit and actually gives a little bit of cover to the terrace as they move in here. So it looked like it was going to be a strong hold off here for LGB. They have a lot of players around here at middle. They have uh, two players here at A, nobody watching long. It looked like it was going to be a strong hold for Penta, but watch what happens here with Crystal as the rest of the terrace push at uh, short A. So with this smoke, one on the left side, one on the right side, there's only one little area in between where a player could see him. We see um, Zivez at the, at the top up there trying to look over that smoke and see inside as these players push out middle. Three players right now on Crystal. Just has to watch that one spot. Goes through the smoke and into CT spawn. Able to pick a ridiculous shot there on Rain as he moves into CT spawn. But at the same time, we have uh, Rubino. If we can get on Rubino, camera's messed up a little bit. There we go. Rubino is the player playing at sort of the elevator area here to watch CT spawn. Crystal walks right into his trap. And I think why this is important to put a player through middle and into CT spawn, which is something we don't see very often on an A take, which is like ignoring long and uh, putting players at short. Smoke, smoke, creep through here into CT. is because generally when you have this... A take, you're going to have a player here playing at the elevator area watching short. Now, you've split his focus. He's going to watch inside of CT spawn, and he has to watch up here. So we see Trouble here take the next step, actually jump over and hunt that player down. And look at this. We have a crossfire here between Crystal and Trouble inside of CT spawn to pick that player off, leaving one player inside of the site who's already been picked by these three players, Speedy, Nex, and Dennis, moving in to take the site. And that just makes it a really nice pistol round. I really like that. Now the players here, because of the mid to B smoke uh, that blocks off CT spawn, they can't really run through that smoke. You've got two players there watching it. They both have to go short. There's not really enough time here, and it puts into a two versus five. So I don't know. I just thought that was a really smart round uh, from Penta to be able to pull that off. I mean, Jacob here does a nice job. He gets a few picks as they move in. 
Speedy puts himself way out in the open, but he got intel. He knows both of the players are there at short. They're able to move Crystal, who was at CT spawn, to flank them as they move into this site. And even though Jacob takes out those players, Crystal sneaks up behind and takes him off. So I really like that from Penta. So let's just recap that once again and just look at exactly what Penta did. They planned this all out beforehand and it worked out well. So the first smoke landed right here by the T's. This is to sort of say to the CTs, okay, they're trying to take long. Let's put two players here and try to hold it off. However, LGB didn't fall for that, but that's like the first step. The next step is mid control. So they move down here at middle, uh, take control, and the second barrage of smokes come down. One on the left side and one to block off CT spawn, like the mid to B smoke. Now, normally you have a crossfire of the T's like here, and here. So those smokes nullify both of these positions. You only have to worry about this area. Oh, I'm about to draw something bad there. Um, you only have to worry about this area in between. So as the T moves out, the next thing that they want to do is worry about this player at CT. So there's going to be a, a blue player here, a CT player, watching up at short as the T's push at short A to try to take A site. And we have another player, I mean, they assume that these players are going to be here, but we have another one inside of the site that you have to worry about as well. So to divide this player's focus, we have a terrorist jump over the side, as well as one sneak through here at CT spawn, putting him in a really awkward position where he has to watch two guys. One of the things I forgot to mention, which I really should, is ever since we've had the bomb site expand beyond these boxes, you can plant for short. So we've talked about that before, but that's important to this strategy, because you have like a mid and short take, you're ignoring this whole area and giving it to the CTs, long A. You don't even care about this entire area now, because if you plant for short, you can just watch the bomb here from short A. You don't even have to worry about this. That's a whole difficult position to take that you can just sort of let there. And also doing this crazy strategy through middle, a little bit surprising for the CTs. You can catch them off guard quite significantly. So that's why I think it works uh, if you follow this up with a plant short. Okay, that's how I sync it. That must look really weird to you guys. Um, I'm gonna get sued by Fox.